which is actually the biggest extinct crocodilian. Well, out of the big seven of the extinct crocs, let's actually see which ones are the longest and which ones are the heaviest. Taking into account the small, extreme and mid estimates by scientists, one by one and then rearrange them accordingly at the end. At the end. So, watch till the end and let's get to it. Number 1. The Purosaurus This extinct crocodile was actually a caiman, the largest of the caimans and it existed up till only about 8 million years back. Its remains and fossils were found in South America and it is one of the largest known crocodiliforms ever to have existed. It has been estimated that the species uh, Purosaurus brasiliensis reach about 10.3 meters or 34 feet in length, weighing about 5.16 metric tons. Another estimate gave it the largest size of 12.5 meters or 41 feet in length and 8.4 metric tons. However, the most recent estimates put it at around 11 meters or 36 feet and weighing around 5 to 6 tons. Number 2. The Gryposuchus uh, this one is an extinct gavial type of crocodilian, one of the largest of the gavials. It existed from about 16 till about 5 million years ago in South America. Given the time frame and the location, it could have probably coexisted and shared the same habitat with the Purosaurus. Uh, the length of the animal has been estimated to be around 10.15 meters or 33.3 feet in length, with a total mass of about 1.75 tons or 3,800 pounds. It was first estimated to have reached about 50 feet but then it was kinda wrong and the most recent measurements put it around 10 meters or 33 feet. Number 3. The Euthecodon This long snouted crocodilian is from Africa and found almost throughout the continent and it could have very well been a marine going crocodile as well. Its first recorded appearance was around 23 million years back and went extinct till only about 180 to 10,000 years ago. Some estimates suggest that the Euthecodon to be among the largest Cenozoic crocodilians, if not one of the biggest of the Pseudosuchians. Uh, this animal would have reached around 10 meters or 33 feet long and with a weight of about 1 ton. Number 4. The Sarcosuchus This is an extinct genus of crocodiliform and a distant relative of the modern living crocodilians. It is a species that lived uh, during the early Cretaceous about 133 to 95 million years ago in the conjoined continents of South America and Africa. The largest specimen with a skull of around 1.6 meters or 5.3 feet was extrapolated and estimated that this individual had a total body length of 11.65 meters or 38.2 feet. This measurement was used to estimate its body weight and they came to a conclusion that it would have weighed around 8 metric tons. But a more recent estimate suggests that it could have been around 9 to 10 meters or 30 to 33 feet long, which is a drastic decrease from the initial estimates. Number 5. The Deinosuchus This distant relative of modern crocodiles lived among the largest of the dinosaurs, including the T-Rex and other large theropod dinosaurs of the late Cretaceous period. It went extinct about 73 million years back. Deinosuchus fossils have been described from 10 US states including Texas and Montana. The original estimate puts it around 15 meters or 50 feet long. However, in 1999, they revised it to around 8 to 9 meters or 27 to 33 feet long. However, with the largest fragmentary remains of the species, D. Rio Grandensis, the Deinosuchus would have been close to 40 feet long or 12 meters and would have weighed around 8.5 tons. Number 6. The Ramposuchus Another gavialoid crocodile in this ranking is the Ramposuchus. It was a large animal that existed in India and Pakistan. This South Asian reptile existed about 5 till about 2 million years ago and would have been the apex predator of the region's waterways. Traditionally, many paleontologists estimated that it was one of the largest, if not the largest crocodilian that ever lived, reaching an estimate of 15 to 18 meters or 50 to 60 feet long. However, a more recent study suggests that this animal may have been only around 8 to 11 meters or 26 to 36 feet long and would have weighed about 2 to 4 tons. Number 7. The Morosuchus so another large caiman is the Morosuchus and it existed from about 16 till about 5 million years back. This caiman was found predominantly in the western part of South America, in the foothills of the Andes and along the Amazon forest borders. Morosuchus skulls range up to a meter in length, with the holotype skull of uh, Morosuchus patasoni being 106 centimeters long, while the specimen of M. 
uh, arundensis is 91 cm. The largest skull belongs to M. or Morosuchus amazonensis with 111.4 cm and so this species if extrapolated would be the largest of the genus being about 9 to 10 meters long or 30 to 33 feet long and weighing in at 4 to 4.3 tons. So with that we now have the final ranking. The smallest of the big seven is Euthecodon with a 10 meter length and a 1 ton weight. Then comes Gripposuchus with a similar body length but a larger weight at around 1.7 tons. The fifth spot goes to Sarcosuchus with the same estimates and body length but a slightly larger weight. The fourth spot goes to Morosuchus with the same length but an estimated weight of about 4 tons. Then number three is Ramposuchus with a slightly longer length at 11 meters or 36 feet long and with the same weight of about 4 tons. Then comes the Purosaurus with 11 meters or 36 feet in length and a weight of 5.6 tons. Then lastly, the biggest would be Danosuchus with a staggering 12 meters or 40 feet body length and a weight of more than 8 tons. Anyway, with that we come to the end of this video. So tell us what you think, if you agree or not, hit that like button for support, subscribe and smash that bell icon for updates on new prehistoric videos right here. So have a great time y'all.